Okay class, we're going to go over this study guide to get you ready for the test tomorrow. The first section of this study guide is all about graphing and if you look up here I have the instructions on how to graph each type of form that we have. So the first step when it says graphing you're just going to follow these steps up here. You have to identify which form the equation is in like A it has parentheses so we know that this one is point slope. Point slope and parentheses both start with P that's how, one way to remember uh, which form it's in. That means we're going to follow the directions on point slope. Now point slope the first thing you have to do is you have to pull out your x1 and your y1 out of the equation. Alright now the the equation is y minus y1 equals m parentheses x minus x1. So to get the x1 and y1 we pull it out of here. If you notice the x1 is always with the x inside the parentheses. But then here you have to think opposite. This is a positive 2. You actually want a negative 2 for that x coordinate. So your x1 is negative 2. All right, so you're going to pull that from the very end of that equation where the x is. The y1 comes from before the, the equal sign, and it's, it's sitting there with the y. It's a negative 6. It looks like an, it appears to be a negative 6. We actually want a positive 6. So we have a positive 6 for our point. So this is the point we're going to start at. And then we're going to use the slope, which is negative 4. The slope is negative 4 over 1. That means we rise negative 4, we run 1. But we have to start with this negative 2, 6 first. So we're going to come over here on our graph and we're going to put a point at negative 2, positive 6. We're going to put a point. This is where we use our rise over our run. Our rise is a negative 4. That means we're going to go down 4 units. And then we have a run of positive 1, which means you go right 1. Positive means you go right, negative means you go left. Then we're going to go ahead and do another one. Down 4, right 1. And this right here is what the line looks like. And that is how you graph an equation in point-slope form. Okay, so that one was an example of point-slope form. Okay, on the back side, we're going to look at letter B. Letter B, this one is in standard form. Okay, this is standard form. The reason it's in standard form is because it's in the format ax plus by equals c. When there's a number with both the x and the y and they're together on the same side of the equal sign, that means it's in standard form. And to do this, when you the goal is to find the x and y intercepts in a standard form. To find the x intercept, you plug 0 in for y. So we have 7x plus 3 times 0 equals 21. And what happens is we zero out that term. So we get 7x equals 21 divided by 7. So you get your x-intercept is 3, which means you have a point at 3, 0. Then you have your y-intercept. Your y-intercept, you plug 0 in for x. So you get 7 times 0 plus 3y equals 21. Again, this term zeroes out, divide both sides by 3, and you get y equals 7. So when x is 0, y is 7. So these are the two points you're going to put on your graph. First one is at 3, 0. So we're going to go out to 3. It makes sense. It's your x-intercept. It should be on your x-axis. Your y-intercept will be on the vertical, the y-axis, at 7. Connect the dots, and we have ourselves a line. And that is how you do standard form. So that is how you graph an equation in standard form. All right, now letter C, that is, the Y is by itself on the left side of the equal sign. When the Y is by itself on the left side of the equal sign, that one is going to be in slope-intercept form. Okay, now for slope-intercept form, that's Y equals MX plus B. We start with B. That's the last number in your equation. You start there. You put that on the y-axis. That is your y-intercept. That means that's where it crosses this vertical axis. So we put a point at negative 3. Okay, and then our slope is negative 3 fourths. The negative either has to go with your rise or your run. I'm going to go ahead and put it with the rise of negative 3 over positive 4, but you can also go positive 3 over negative 4, and we'll go in both directions. From this point, I'm going to go down 3 because it's a rise, negative 3, and I'm going to go right 4 because it's a positive 4. I can also go up 3 and left 4. 
and then this will be my line in slope-intercept form. So that's how you graph an equation in slope-intercept form. You've got to know how to graph in all three forms. That's going to require a little bit of studying and practicing on your part. So that is the first section that you will see is graphing. The next section would be writing equations. You're going to have to write several different equations. I'm going to show you the three different basic types of equations you will have to write. First problem says write the equation of a line in point slope form that has a slope one half and goes through point negative four seven. Now point slope form that's your key word. That means you're going to do y minus y1 equals m parentheses x minus x1. What we're going to do is we have m one half is your m, and then they give you a point which is your x1, y1. You're going to plug those values into y1, x1, and m. So we get y minus our y1 value, which is 7, equals m, which is 1 half, parentheses, x minus a negative 4, which makes it plus 4. This is the equation in point slope form, and you're done. You don't get rid of the parentheses if it asks you to write it in point slope form. You leave the parentheses in. That's all you do with this problem. Now, letter B says to write an equation in slope-intercept form for a line that has a y-intercept of negative 5 and a slope of negative 3. Well, slope-intercept form, let's write that equation. We get y equals mx plus b. The y-intercept I saw a lot of you yesterday, yesterday trying to plug this in for y. You don't plug it in for y. y and x remain y and x. You do not plug anything into those. y-intercept is b. You've got to remember the y-intercept is b. So that negative 5 is going to go in place of the b. The negative 3 will go in place of the m. So you get y equals negative 3x minus 5. And that's the end of that problem because it asks you to write it in slope-intercept form. We have done that. Now, the last one is one that takes quite a bit of steps, okay? On this one, it says write your equation in slope-intercept form. So you know it's going to have to look like this in the end, okay? But it goes through points negative 2, 5, and 3, 10. You must go through point slope form first. So this tells you where you have to start, okay? But see, the problem is, is I don't have a point and a slope. I have two points, but I don't have a slope. So that's where the slope formula comes in handy. We're going to have to use y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we're going to name one of these x1, y1, one of these x2, y2. So we plug those values in. We get 10 minus 5. So I went 10 minus 5 over 3 minus a negative 2. So on the top we have 5, on the bottom we do change it, change it, and we get 5, which equals 1. So our m is 1 in this situation. Now, anytime you're given two points and you have to write an equation, after you find the slope, go ahead and get rid of that second point. We don't need it anymore, so cross that second point out, because all we need at this point is a point and a slope, which we have. We have a point right here, we have a slope right here. We plug it into the formula y minus y1 equals m parentheses x minus x1. So you will have to go through point slope first. Okay, if it says to write an equation in slope intercept, but all you have is two points, you're going to be going through point slope first. So we do y minus y1, which is 5, equals your m, which is 1 parentheses x minus a negative 2, so that's x plus 2. But then it says we have to write it in slope-intercept form. This is point-slope, so we have to transfer that equation to slope-intercept. To do that, we do 1, we distribute. That's the first step. So we're going to distribute the 1 to both places. So we do y minus 5 equals 1x plus 2. So we distribute that 1. And then 2, we get y by itself. Isolate y. y by itself. So then we want to add 5 to both sides and we get y equals 1x plus 7. That is the equation in slope intercept. So there's quite a few steps to this problem. You need to memorize those steps. If you're given two points and told to write an equation, you know you're going to have to find slope first. Then you're going to go through point slope form. 
then you got to do distribute and y by itself. You've got to know all three of those steps. You will have a problem like this, I guarantee it. All right, the last part of this review is called transforming equations. Actually, it's not the last part. I'm sorry. The third part is transforming equations. These are the two that you're going to have to know how to do. If you need to go from slope, this is slope intercept, to standard form. Standard form is ax plus by equals c. All right? So what we have to do is we have to, we can't have fractions in here. If we have fractions, that's the first step. So if we have the equation y equals negative two-thirds x, Minus five. Step one is to get rid of the denominator or get rid of the fraction. The denominator is three. What that means is we're going to multiply everything in this formula by three. Okay, because what we do to one term, we have to do all the others. And what happens is those threes cancel in that middle term. So you get three y equals negative two x and then minus fifteen. So the first step is clear fractions. If there are any. The second step is to put in ax plus by equals c form. That means we need to get this x term to the other side. We need to add 2x to both sides. And then we write the x term first because ax comes first. So we do 2x plus 3y equals negative 15. And now this equation is in standard form. So those are two steps you have to do. First, clear your fractions and then put it in that format. Right. Letter B also only has two steps. If you're going from point slope, the one with the parentheses, to slope intercept form, that means you want y by itself. So your whole goal, goal is to solve this y minus 8 equals negative 2 parentheses x plus 5. So there's two steps. First, you have to do distributive property. We did this actually on, the, on the, one of the problems earlier. We do distributive property. So we get y minus 8 equals negative 2x minus 10. Last step, isolate y. So we want to get y by itself, so that means we add 8 to both sides of the equation. We get y equals negative 2x minus 2. So now this is in slope-intercept form. Those are the only two types that you're going to have to transform on the test. Make sure you remember these steps. All right, there will be at least one word problem on here where you have to write your own equation. This is applications of linear functions. We did a couple of these lessons throughout the unit. Um, suppose your family buys a movie card from a rental store that entitles you to pay a monthly charge of $5 and you get to rent each movie for a dollar a piece. All right, so... The things that we don't know are the cost and we know that it's five dollars and then you add a dollar for each movie but we don't know what the total cost is. Now cost is always usually always your dependent variable. Cost is going to depend on how many movies you buy so y is going to be cost. Your dependent variable you need to make y. Your independent variable you make x. Your independent variable is how many movies that you're renting. So number of movies. Okay. To figure out the cost, okay, we have y equals, all right, well, it costs a dollar for every movie, first of all. It costs a dollar for every movie. So it's a dollar times x, plus you also have a $5 fee. So this is your equation. If you notice, it is in slope-intercept form. It is in y equals mx plus v form. We have to graph this. It does say to graph. So to graph this, we start at 5 on our graph. So we go up to 5. And then we do um, slope of 1. So we go up 1, right 1, up 1, right 1. We can also go down 1, left 1. Now, here's the trouble with this word problem. I should have given you guys a graph that has more positive values because this point right here won't ever really help us in this situation because it's in the negative y values. We can't have a negative cost. And we can't have any values down here because we can't have a negative um, number of movies. So really, these right here values, these three points, are really the only ones that fit on the graph that will make sense. Letter B asks you, to what does the slope mean? Your slope is your M, which is 1. What the slope represents in this situation is that your cost goes up 
one dollar for every movie. Okay. So that's what your slope means. Your y-intercept is five. What five means would be that's just the cost without renting any movies. That's the cost without renting any movies. Okay, that's the cost without renting any movies. All right, so that's your review. There's one more thing I want to discuss with you, though. Um, I want to do another example here. Um, we also did some ones where we had to graph vertical and horizontal lines. So if you have a problem that says graph the equation y equals 7. Right, I need to remind you of how to do that. If it's y equals 7, what you do is you go to 7 on your y-axis, put a point, and then it's going to be a horizontal line. So y equals some number is a horizontal line. And then x equals, let's say, negative 2. Okay, what you do, this is going to be a vertical line at x equals negative 2. You're going to put a point, draw a vertical line. I forgot to add those into the study guide, but anytime it's x equals some number, you know it's going to be a vertical line. If it's y equals a number, it's going to be a horizontal line. So you do need to go through and practice a few of those. Okay. Another thing that you will have to do is possibly write the equation of a line. So I'm going to use this graph to show you the last thing that I think that you might have to know. I'm going to make a line here. Okay. You may have to write an equation from a line in slope intercept in y equals mx plus b form. What you have to do in that case is you have to identify what b is and what m is. We did this a few times. But b is your y-intercept, so that would be where it crosses your y-axis, which is at 1. Your slope, you count the rise over the run. So you pick two points that are on nice, even intersections. You count rise 1, run 1. That means your slope is 1 over 1. All right, so then we write the equation, y equals 1x plus 1. I made that a very easy equation. But if you have to write an equation from a line, that's what you do. Okay, guys, this is a lot of information you have got to study this evening. You need to do the practice problems I've assigned you, and you should be okay if you actually study the material and learn what to do when. Okay, please use all the resources I've given you. Go back and review any videos that I created. They're all on uh, School Fusion. Um, I hope that this has helped. Um, thank you for listening.